and so the Kari, the rest who they have returned to our own life, they marry, and senior also to go to church. They become bewildered and weak. I think that for this he has sent me and and receiving good response. So many serious not be shut to stop Silla Bhakti Bhagavan Swami Maharaj. Coming and I am healthy, I am very happy to help them. I see, I am very happy that oh, there are so many seniors. Disciples of Swami Jaya. And so do you, the new devotees who are coming to me also, I think they are, read, they are reading the books of Swami. By inspiration they are all coming to me. This is the glory of Swami. In my tour, up till now, in Western countries, I had a very post, this question on Krishna Lila and stages of bhakti. And that, in that stage, the gradation of thoughts. This stage past time, from first country to tenth, especially we have done. Eleven Kanto we have also done in Asia or Now I have one that you should see, we are some glory of Sri Chaitanya Mahaprabhu. Without this, you cannot understand Sri Mahaprabhu. If you know the same past times of Chaitanya Mahaprabhu, why he came and what he did. Then we actually then understand Srimad Bhagavad. Who was Krishna, who was Radha, what is Sansava and Sansava. So Krishna Lila is like a very thick loose contents milk. And if Karpur and sugar, Anthar and sugar is given to me, or it makes taste so hard. So Krishna is like, like sweet, condensed milk, and Chaitanya Lila is like camphor and sugar. Krishna Das Kavirari has spoken. So, we will <coughs> try to give our classes. Why Chaitanya Mahaprabhu came? Very good. Then, how we do work? The past times of Chaitanya Mahaprabhu, the past times of our thought. Rāramānanda Sampār, Sanātam Sīkṣa, Rūp Sīkṣa. All things we will try as much as we can do. And if it's not completed something, then we can continue in pleasure. Ah, body process is also taken to it. So first, to know Krishna and especially Chaitanya Mahaprabhu, we cannot know ourselves. By reading also you cannot know. Because Jaha Bhagavad Pada, Krishna Mahaprabhu, they have walk and reading. Walk is there. Nectar is there, but it is law and so Vaishnava and self is the names of all these things. So without Guru, anyone cannot go towards Krishna. 
कृष्णा और चैतन्य महाभक्त गुरु भक्ति बैकबोन ऑफ भक्ति ऑलवेज रिमेम्बर दो जो है तर्क गुरु नई गुरु गोस्वामी है तो विश्व प्रेरण गुरु सेवा नई प्राण वर्ग हो वह प्राण वर्ग वेरी क्लोज फ्रेंड एंड साथ ही सो विदाउट इज मशी यू कैन नो ऑल दीज पर्स सो फर्स्ट वी वॉन्ट टू डिस्कस अबाउट गुरु तत्व वॉट इज गुरु तत्व फर्स्ट वट इज दी क्वालिटीज ऑफ ए वन ऑफ बाय गुरु ऑल्सो वी शुड नो हो इज क्वालिफाइड टू बी ए विषय हो देर क्वालिटी इज ऑल्सो एंड देन इन वॉट कंडीशन ए गुरु का भी जी है ना what condition and if not he is giving up any fallen guru then what will be result today we will discuss about this and then nishyananda prabhu said first you should send the thank you
of our ability to approach Bhagavan. Oh, it is based upon our Guru Nishta. Just like we are all able to sit here today uh, because our back can be kept straight by our backbone, our spine. If we did not have a strong backbone, how we could sit? So in the same way, Srila Gurudev always tells us, Guru Nishta, that means firm, firm, absolute faith in Guru, is the very backbone of bhakti. So, this principle is always discussed in the beginning, because Bhagavan, he cannot be approached without the mercy and the shelter of Sri Guru. In the prayers of Srila Vishwanath Chakravarti Thakur that we have all learned, he is telling there, Yasya Prasada Bhagavat Prasada. Yasya Prasada Nagati Gutovi. That means that by the mercy, by the prasad of Sri Guru, then one gets the mercy of Krishna. And Yasya Prasada Na, if one doesn't have his mercy, then he can never attain the goal of life. Not possible. So therefore, uh, the instruction to us, Yayam, Stuvam, Stasya, Yashas, Trisantyam, Vande Guru, Sri Charanavindra. I meditate three times daily. I glorify my Sri Guru Dev three times daily. What does three times mean? It means that we should not forget him at any time. It means that we should be absorbed in understanding our total, absolute dependence upon His mercy. But without Him we are nothing. Huh? And without His grace and mercy, we have no possibility of attaining this highest goal of perfection to realize and attain eternal transcendental love for Krishna. So if someone is so fortunate in this human form of life, that after wandering through millions of species of life, finally attaining the human form of life, he has the opportunity to have sadhu sangha, association with saintly Vaishnavas, who are pure devotees of the Supreme Lord. And in that association, he gains some faith by hearing from them the transcendental topics of the Supreme Lord. Then the next step is that he will accept initiation. And accepting initiation from Sri Guru, now he will go on uh, hearing from Sri Guru all transcendental topics, and he will cultivate the practices of bhakti under the direction of Sri Guru. Uh, this is called Anugatya. And what kind of service will he render to Sri Guru? As Sri Guru they have told, Vishram Bena Guru or Seva. He will serve Guru with transcendental Vishrambha Bhav. That means very uh, feeling that Sri Gurudev is nearest and dearest to me. He is my very dear most friend of my heart. Huh? So that kind of mood of love and devotion for Guru it is the very principle by which we can attain perfection. We also hear and understand uh, the glories of Guru from many of the songs of our great Acharyas like Srila Narakam Das Thakur. Uh, and therefore, there he is telling us, Shri Guru Charane Rati, E Sei Uttama Gati, Ye Prasade Pude Sarva Asha. If someone can be so fortunate to develop Rati, transcendental love and affection for the lotus feet of Guru, Shri Guru Charane Rati, then A Se Uttamagati. Oh, that very attachment, it is the ultimate perfection of his life, and it will bring him to the supreme perfection in which Jay Prasade Pude Sarva Asha. He will receive the mercy of Guru and all of his desires of his eternal soul to have love for Krishna will be completely fulfilled. That is the power of relationship with Sri Guru. So Guru is not a personality of this material world who has come to this world like ordinary conditioned souls. That he has anything to do with the enjoying tendencies like the conditioned souls 
are madly racing here and there, trying to get the objects of the senses to gratify their senses in this world, and ending continuously in a cycle of frustration and endless, endless suffering. No, Sri Guru is not like that. He is a divine personality who is within this world as Sakshad Haritvena, non-different than the Supreme Lord as a manifestation of the Lord to give mercy to the conditioned souls in this world. Therefore, you will not see the ordinary qualities of the conditioned souls within Sri Guru. Sri Shastra is telling, uh, Samastra Shastra, all the different Vedic literatures are telling us the qualities of Sri Guru in one Vedic mantra in order to identify who is actually qualified to be Guru. And if you meet such a Guru, how will you be able to see what kind of symptoms will you see in Guru? So there it is telling. Tadvikya uh, Markam Sa Eva Guru Sa Guru Evam Abhilachit Samitpani Shrutriyam Brahma Nishtam. So here it is saying that uh, if someone wants to understand this divine transcendental knowledge, Vidya Naritam, then it is absolutely compulsory. A Vigaschet means it is compulsory. It is not you may accept, you may not. No. If you want to know the absolute truth, it is absolutely compulsory. You will have to approach Satguru and Satguru Eva Abhigaschet. And that approach to Sri Guru, it must be made with great submission. Submit Pani. Uh, in, in symbolic language, it is telling in the Vedas that you are carrying with you, when you come to Guru, you are carrying the firewood that is required to perform yogya, like the fire yogyas in the Vedic times. So Sri Guru, what does that mean? That means that you are bringing your very life in your hands and offering it at the feet of Guru and allowing him to sacrifice you in the fire of pure devotion to Sri Krishna. So there it is telling Samit Pani and then it tells the qualities, two qualities mentioned here, Shrotriyam and Brahma Vishnam. Shrotriyam means that Sri Guru, he himself has become thoroughly completely well acquainted with the ocean of transcendental realized knowledge, divya jnana, of the absolute truth, Bhagavan Sri Krishna. Shlotriyam, he himself has heard this divine knowledge from his preceptor, from his guru, and he has realized this deeply within his heart. Now he is qualified to transmit that knowledge to the conditioned souls and open up their darkened eyes. And then, Shrotriyam Brahma Nishtam. Brahma Nishtam. What is Brahma? Brahma means the supreme absolute truth from which everything has come. Janma Desya Yataha. This entire creation of this material world, the creation, the maintenance, and the final dissolution of these three worlds has come from the absolute truth, Brahma, sometimes called Parabrahma. And that part of Brahma is none other than the Supreme Absolute Personality of Godhead, Bhagavan Sri Krishna. So Brahma Nishtam means he is absolutely, Sri Guru is absolutely fixed in that Supreme Brahma. He can never be deviated for one single moment from his divine realization of that Supreme Brahma. So in the Srimad Bhagavatam, it is also telling Tasma Guru Prabhupada Jityasur Shreya Uttama Shakti Pareksha Vishnatam Brahmani Pushamashraya. Here Srimad Bhagavatam, the eleventh canto, is also telling us that Tasma Guru Prabhupada Jityasur Shreya Uttama. If you want to inquire about what is the ultimate Shreya, Shreya Uttama means the topmost benefit of our soul. If you want to inquire about that, then you must approach Guru. And you must do what? Prabhupada. You must surrender at the feet of Guru. And 
and accept him as your master and submissively hear from him. As Sri Krishna also tells in Bhagavad Gita, he says, if you want to know this transcendental knowledge, he says, then you have to do three things. You have to go to a Tattvadarshi, a personality who sees the absolute truth himself. He can see, he can has divine vision. Uh, so you must go to him and do pranipat. You must surrender at his feet submissively huh? and give up your false ego that I know anything, I'm a very important person in this world. No. Before Sri Guru, we are nothing but a conditioned soul floating on the waves of this endless ocean of material existence. So, uh, Pranipatina and then Paniprashnena. Then you must inquire submissively. You must hear the transcendental nectar that is coming from the lotus ball of Sri Guru. And third thing, Sevaya, you have to serve. You have to develop the mood of service to Sri Guru because he is introducing you to the mood of service of the Supreme Absolute Truth, Sri Krishna. So that Sri Guru, he must have these qualities as mentioned in Srimad Bhagavatam because if he is, does not possess these qualities, oh, then you can easily get cheated. There are so many persons, especially in this Kali Yuga, who are very happily waiting to pray upon innocent souls and to tell them, yes, yes, come to me and I will give you divine knowledge, divine realization, but simply they are looking to get money, to get followers and to cheat the innocent public. To find Sri Guru in this world who has these divine qualities and realization is extremely rare. So therefore, Shiva Bhagavatam is telling, Tasma Guru Prapadyeka Jikyasu Shreya Uttamam Shavde Parecha Nishnatam Brahmani Upashama Shreya. Here again, it is telling, Shavde Parecha Nishnatam Brahmani. The absolute truth, part of Brahma, that Sri Guru has realized this Shabda Brahma, the divine transcendental sound. And he has also realized Parabrahma, the Supreme Lord Himself. And Vishnatam uh, Brahmani Upasamashrayam. That means he is fully detached from anything within this material world. He is absolutely renounced and has no interest whatsoever for trying to enjoy within this material world. Why? Because he has internal, transcendental divine love for the Supreme Lord and he is tasting nectar of devotion, of divine love at every single step, every single moment of his existence. So such a personality who comes within this world, he is the representative directly of Krishna. And to understand this Guru Tattva, we will hear so many verses, so many shlokas quoted tonight from Shastra. What is the actual identity of Guru? How Guru is none other than a divine manifestation of Sri Krishna Himself. So if we are so fortunate in our life to get the association of such a personality as we have on this glorious evening in this wonderful festival, to have this opportunity to hear from the lips of such a pure Guru, a genuine bona fide Guru in the disciple succession coming down for thousands of years from Sri Krishna and Sri Chaitanya Mahaprabhu himself. This is our greatest good fortune. We take this opportunity on this evening to bow down with all the uh, humility at our command at the lotus feet of our beloved preceptor, His Divine Grace Srila Bhakti Vedanta Narayan Goswami
First I offer my unlimited obeisances in the dust of the lotus feet of my most worshipable Vishnu Purite, Nichalila Pravishta Om Vishnu Pad, Asto to the Sita Sri Srimad, Shila Bhakti Vedanta Swami Prabhupada, and the same unlimited obeisances in the dust of the lotus feet of my most worshipable Shri Purite, Om Vishnu Pad, Asto to the Sita Sri Srimad, Shila Bhakti Vedanta Narayan Gosami Maharaj, to all of our disciples of succession, and all the assembled devotees. Srila Gurudev has ordered me to speak some words on the principle of Sri Guru Tattva. He has explained previously that the subject matter of Guru Tattva is the essence of all bhakti literature. It's a very heavy topic, he says, and therefore one should hear it from the core of his heart. There are many verses all over the scriptures that are glorifying Guru Tattva. One was quoted many, many times by Srila Gurudev and our Srila Prabhupada. The Gurudev talked about it for his whole festival once in Mawulambak. And he said, we are beginning this uh, preaching tour here in Mawulambar by the topic of Guru Tattva. So today is Guru Day, and he's making that day today as well. He began by saying the verse from the 11th canto Srimad Bhagavatam. Guru Tattva is glorified by our Guru Parampara, and also the personalities who are manifestations of Akanda Guru Tattva, the principle of undivided Guru, they are also coming in our Guru Parampara. So this verse was stated by Narada to Vasudeva, the father of Sri Krishna, and then later on by Sri Sukadeva Goswami to Parikit Maharaj. By um, Dvitiya Binive Isha dhate kasya vi parjayo smiti Tammayaya tam buddhirabha jay tam Bhaktyay kajay sam guru devatatma The cause of all fear is due to turning away from Sri Krishna who is the undivided complete, absolute truth, a Gloria Gyan Paratattva. There's no existence outside of him. So to forget that and turn away from him, and thus to identify with this body and mind is the cause of all fear. In that fearful condition, we are running after the shadow that is behind us. That shadow is called Maya. Maya means that which is not or forgetfulness of Krishna. Material happiness, emotional, mental happiness are all products of maya. Everything we feel, everything we think in this world are all products of maya. So turning to that shadow and looking for peace and happiness, we become frustrated in living in the two jails of the body and mind. If one goes forward, on the other hand, which we have forgotten, that path, that forward path. But if we go forward on that path of Krishna Bhakti and go towards Krishna, then all material facilities, all happiness, all peace, economic development, uh, liberation, religiosity, sense gratification, everything follows just as a shadow follows a person. And how is that possible? If one engages in the service of the Lord, under the guidance of Sri Guru, who is our life and soul and a manifestation of Krishna himself, who is non-different from our Atma. After Srila Gurudev gave his class, the next morning I said to him, Gurudev, you were saying in your class last night that Sri Guru is more close to us than our own Atma. 
But I don't see you like that. Whenever I see you, I feel guilty that I'm not serving properly. So he said, yes, that is why I gave the class. So you'll know that there's no separation between us at any time. The gopis felt separation from Krishna, though there was no separation. And that's how it is with guru and disciple. He also explained that the disciple should think that he and guru are so inseparable, just like water and its wetness, or fire and its heat, that much. It's stated in Shastra, Yasha Deve Tata Bhaktiya, Yatha Deve Tata Guru, that's Yaite Kajita Yartha Prakashan Te Mahatmana. Anyone who has complete faith in Krishna Bhakti, and the same faith in Sri Guru. To him, all the uh, knowledge of all the revealed scriptures, the Vedas, the Upanishads, Srimad Bhagavatam, everything is revealed in his heart. So what is Padabhakti? The Shade Ve Padabhakti. Padabhakti is the same as Anyabhivadika Sunyam, that is uninterrupted service to the Supreme Lord with our mind, body, words, and all the sentiments of the heart that is not covered by mental speculation or the desire to enjoy the fruits of our activities, even the desire to enjoy the fruits of our service. And that service is Anupudyena Krishna Anusilanam. So Krishna Anusilanam. Pura Bhakti means that Krishna Anusilanam, always engaging in activities meant for the pleasure of Krishna. But who is Krishna? Krishna has two aspects. One is Vishaya Krishna and one is Ashraya Krishna. Vishaya Krishna is the Supreme Personality of Godhead as the Supreme Enjoy or the object of service. That same Bhagavan manifests as the reservoir of service to himself, and that is Sri Guru. So Parabhakti actually means first service to Guru, and only by that service will Krishna show his mercy. Krishna's mercy follows the mercy of Guru. Yasha Prashada, Bhagavad Prashada, Yasha Prashada, Nagatir Kutopi. If one pleases Guru, then Krishna is fully pleased, and a magic is performed. Though we've forgotten Krishna since the beginning of time, Guru performs magic, and Krishna's mercy follows that. Just like magic, one becomes free from that maya, and he becomes aware of his eternal spiritual body, which is made of Sat, Chit, and Ananda, just like the Lord. Just as in the story of Upamanyu, the Guru blessed Upamanyu because he followed his Guru's instructions, he had faith in his Guru, that all knowledge was revealed in his heart. Similarly, Aruni, who was ordered by his Guru to stop a flood that was coming to his Guru's agricultural fields, and he couldn't find any way to stop that. It was pouring, pouring rain in a dark, cold night. So he himself became like the dam, and he practically died frozen by becoming that dam. But the next morning, his Guru Dev found him and blessed him with all revealed knowledge. Similarly, Gop Kumar was giving knowledge of all tattvas to his disciple, Jana Sharma. And Jana Sharma was hearing, and he had faith but no realization. So being pleased by his disciples' faith and his hearing and his desire to serve and surrender everything and give up his own independence, his Gurudev simply touched him on the head. Then he closed his eyes and opened his eyes. And when he opened his eyes, he saw Krishna Loka before him. And Krishna was coming home from taking care of the cows. And Krishna ran to him and embraced him. And they both fell faint on the ground. So this is the magic mercy of Sri Guru. It's also stated 
in the scriptures. Nayam, Nayam, I look for the chain and look back. Namay Naya, Nashitena, Nabahu, Nayna, Bahu Nashitena. Even if one is very, very intelligent, if he's a great master in speaking, if he can give great lectures, if he's hearing so many things, still the Lord is not bound to reveal himself to him. The Lord reveals himself only to one who he chooses. And who does he choose? One who is very dear to him, who is serving that person who is very, very dear to him. And who is dear to him? Srila Gurudev gave a very beautiful example. Krishna, as you know, prays to Srimadhi Radhika that I am feeling so much separation from you. Please put your lotus feet on my head. Be pleased with me so that I can be free from the burning fire of separation. And Krishna says that same verse, what is that verse? Smaragala Kandana Mamashirashi Mandanam Devi Parapalavam Udaram. Please place your lotus feet on my head. So Srila Gurudev explained, and this is also discussed in his Gita Govinda reports, that Krishna also said this very same thing to the dear maidservants of Srimati Radhika. Why? Because Radharani is always feeling separation from Krishna. And Krishna is always feeling separation from Srimati Radhika. So that personality who will bring them together and meet and make them feel their only and highest happiness, one who serves and surrenders to that person who is so dear to them, who brings them together, Krishna chooses to reveal himself to that devotee. Srila Gurudev also requested us to speak something about Nityananda Prabhu in relation to Guru Tattva. We see in our songbook the prayer to Lord Nityananda. Sankarsana Karuna Kvaishai Garbo Dushai Chapayog Dushai Shesha Shriya Shamsha Kalaja Nitya that is, Sankarshan, Shesha, who keeps all the universes on his hoods, floating on his hoods just like mustard seeds. They're so light, he's not even aware of his presence. So that's Sankarshan, who's a portion of a portion of a plenary portion of Nityananda. He is the source of innumerable incarnations, including Karanadakshaya Vishnu, Maha Vishnu, who breathes in and out innumerable universes, Garbhadakshaya Vishnu, from whose navel lake a lotus flower comes and Lord Brahma is born, and from that lotus stem come all the planets, and Kiradakshaya Vishnu, who is lying in the ocean of milk and who is the super soul in the heart of every living entity and who is sustaining all atoms. These are just very small portions of Nityananda Prabhu. Why does he expand in this way? Because he is Balaram, the first expansion and non-different body in Sri Krishna. Only their form is a little different and the color is a little different, mood is a little different. I am the servant of Krishna, though he's none other than Krishna. So, he is the chief assistant, just as um, Krishna is now Chaitanya Mahaprabhu, so Balaram has come as Nityananda Prabhu, the source of innumerable incarnations, the source of innumerable universes. The source of all jivas, Mahasankarshan, the plenary portion of Lord Nityananda, is the reservoir of all jivas. So why does he expand like that? Because he's the chief assistant in all the pastimes of Krishna. He wants to expand the pastimes of Krishna, to expand the pleasure of Krishna. 
And therefore, he does that in the spiritual world, in Goloka Vrindavan, in all the Vaikuntha planets, in Madhra, in Dwarka, in Nabadvipdam, in Swaykadvipdam, and also in order to manifest the expansion of the Lord's pastimes, he manifests all the jivas, and then he manifests as Mahavishnu, so that the jivas can come out into this material world and get trained by Nityananda Prabhu's another glorious expansion, that is Sri Guru, who's training the living entities. Just as an expert gardener, just as an expert gardener can see any seed and tell what that plant is, Sri Guru can look at not only the disciples, but every living entity and see exactly what service they have in the spiritual world, what they look like, what they dress like, and Sri Guru gives that seed of bhakti to expand the service. Somebody asked him at the airport, we hear that only Guru can give the seed of bhakti, but bhakti is already at the seed in the heart. So Guru they said, the seed is in the heart, but Guru gives the water and the air and the sunlight to nourish that seed of bhakti so that spirit soul can become a servant of Sri Sri Radha and Krishna. This is Guru Tattva, who Krishna himself falls down at the feet of and begs to the dust of their feet. Yatha Devi Tatha Guru Prakashante Mahatma 
that one who has this um, faith towards Guru and Krishna, um, then Parabhakti and all um, truths of the Vedas they reveal. So there's um, Guru Bhakti and Krishna Bhakti, Gaur Bhakti. But initially, more important is Guru Bhakti. Because without Guru Bhakti, then there's no question of worshipping Sri Chaitanya Mahaprabhu and also Sri Sri Radha and Krishna in a true sense. So, it's stated in Chaitanya Chaitanya in the first um, chapter, Adnila, Guru Krishna, Rupa Hana, Shashira Praman, Guru Rupa Krishna Kripa, Korean Bhaktagana. That Guru Krishna, Rupa Hana, that the living entity has been traveling from many, many universes for millions and millions of lives. Brahmani, Brahmite, Kaur, Bhagya, Bhamji, Guru, Krishna, Prasadi, Bhaya, Bhakti, Lakhi. But then when Krishna, he wants to manifest his mercy, then how he manifests his mercy to that Bhagya, Bhamji, that living entity who was approved um, Bhakti Supriti, Guru, Krishna, um, Rupahana, that Krishna, he manifests in the form of Guru. The verse has been quoted, Shakshat Hari Venasa Masa Shastriya. That um, the scriptures that they state that Guru is Shaksha Hari is not different from Hari because he is carrying that mercy, that compassion of Hari. So he has Guru Krishna Rupahana Shastri Ataman, Guru Rupa Krishna Kripa Pure Bhaktavan. That when Krishna he comes to give mercy to the living entities, then he comes and he manifests in the form of Guru Dev. That Guru Dev, that he is full of compassion. Krishna, he is Karuna Sindhu. And that aspect of his compassionate nature, that is personified, that is embodied in Sri Guru. That every aspect, every limb, every atom of Guru Dev uh, is just oozing with compassion for the living entities. So, it is of utmost importance that one approach Guru and offer oneself wholeheartedly without reservation. But it should be Sri Guru. So the verse has been quoted. That Tasmat Guru Papadita, that we should surrender, but not just with body, not just with mind, uh, but we should, we should surrender our hearts. Because in this material world, We've been traversing through so many universes. We've gone through so many species of lives. 8,400,000 species of lives. And in our different relationships in this material world, we've been cheated, we've been whipped, uh, we've been robbed. All inauspicious things have happened in our relationships in this material world. And when the living entity has been beat on the anvil of this material world, then it brings up curiosity. What is that curiosity? How can I get out of this situation? And that person who is fortunate, who is Bhagyavan, then Krishna, he manifests as Sri Guru. But how to receive mercy of Guru? So here, Sadhma Guru Papadita, give you Sushri Uttamam. That if we want this Uttamam, when we want to start inquiring about things beyond the bodily necessities of life, about our ultimate welfare, <coughs> then we approach such Guru. And what is his quality? Shabde Pare Chanishnatam. Uh, the Shabde Shab uh, and Pare Brahmani. Shabde Shab means that not only is he expert in revealed scriptures, many people they may read the scriptures thoroughly and they may speak very nicely. Not only can they speak, they can speak, they can sing, they can make you cry, they can make you laugh, they can bring all kinds of emotions. But it's just something which they've acquired by the material um, 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 qualities. They may be very, very expert professional um, speakers. But, Shabdecha, this means that Guru he has realized the scriptures. That the scriptures did manifest in his heart. Krishna say Toma, Krishna Vitepa, Toma Sakati Yate, Amito Kangla, Krishna Krishna Bodhi, Dai Kapa Pati Pati. That Krishna is within his heart. And all the revealed scriptures, all the knowledge is there within his heart. And when he speaks, then that Shabda Brahma, it manifests from his heart and then it comes in the form of transcendental sound vibration. So one should approach with the heart 
hearing, not with the ear, but the ear is the vehicle by which that sound vibration, which is transcendental sound, which is Krishna in the form of sound, enters into the ear and then enters into the um, courtyard of the heart. So Shabdeta, and then Parit Brahmani, that he has realized also Krishna. He's realized the scriptures and he has realized Krishna. Um, Brahma Samhita. <laughs> That his eyes are anointed with the sound of love. They anoint the man to the top of the note of the man, so the facts of the man, the man is the man of the man. Go in the man, you can be sure to come up. That pray under them, his eyes are anointed with the sound of love. Why? Because he has that intimate relationship, he has praying. So, such persons, then we should go and we should approach. That it is enjoying the scriptures, that we should be very careful, that we should approach somebody who is bona fide, who has his qualities, and Nishnatam, uh, that, um, that in his heart there is no material desire, no material lust, no anger, no envy, no greed, no illusion, uh, no material madness due to being frustrated in this world, that such person is completely pure, his heart is completely pure, and Radha and Krishna are resting in the core of his heart. And because Radha and Krishna are there, also his heart is a holy down, Vrindavan is there, and also all his associates. It behooves that we should approach such personality, because if we make the mistake, and we approach somebody who does not have proper qualities, then we can suffer greatly. Srila Bhakti Siddhanta says, Bhakti Thakur, he gives, um, a story to illustrate this. He explains that one time, one blind person, he wanted to go to the house of the in-laws. So his um, family members, they took him and they put his hand on the tail of a bull. And they said, whatever you do, you just hold on to this tail and you don't let go. And then, boom, they hit the bull and the bull just started to run. And he was just thinking, just hold on. Because disciple, well, whatever you, you should hold on to the instructions of your guru. This is this is qualification of disciple. That whatever your guru says, that you follow as it is, without addition, without subtraction, without even um, trying to understand it from so many material angles. You have faith. So he was holding on. This bull ran through so many rocks, glass, um, thorns, hmm? and just ripped his body apart. His face uh, was bleeding. He was thinking only one thing, just hold on. <laughs> Whatever, just hold on. And then he, he was dragged to the in-law's house and in such a state of, of, of utter, utter punishment, utter suffering, he just passed out. His in-laws, they came outside, they could not recognize him, and they looked, ha, he, stealing the food. Get the sick, and they beat him, and beat him, and beat him, huh? And he just suffered like anything. So the Bhakti Siddhanta Sarasvati Thakur, he gives this example that this is what happens when you take shelter of somebody who is not bona fide guru. That guru, you take shelter of a... Of, that you, when you don't take shelter of a bona fide guru. And you see, Practically speaking, practically, this is not like just a story, it's practical. That somebody will go, and out of good heart, they'll think, oh, that yes, O oh, Prabhu, uh, Dr. Bozo, you have to take initiation. <laughs> and I said, well, Prabhu, who do I take initiation from? Well, da 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 da. And then they go and take initiation. And then they are, you know, to the best of their ability, they're hearing. They're chanting, they're serving, uh, but the anarchists which are within the heart, they're not going. Nothing's going. And then the person's thinking, why? What's happened to me? I'm a demon. There's something wrong with me. And practically speaking, you see people, they go mad in this situation. But it's just the fact that they're not properly connected with a bona fide guru. But they're just like that person who's holding on to tell a bull and say, whatever happens, don't let go. And they beat, beat, and beat, and beat, and beat by the material energy. So, what to do? Practical experience. That, in very short, I'll explain. I um, came to Christian Consciousness Movement in 1978. Then, 
also going to process taking shelter of Guru. But then, after some time, what happened? That in, in uh, Mahabharata, it says, that if Guru uh, does not follow the path of Shuddha Bhakti, if they lose discrimination as to what is to be done, what is not to be done, if they make offense to Shuddha Vaishnavas, to Bhakti, Bhakta, Bhagavan, hmm, then such Guru, they should be rejected. So we see, that, practically speaking, most amazing things they happen. Before I came to Krishna consciousness, I just such a life I thought I could not be amazed. But then when I came to Krishna consciousness, by something, I was completely amazed. Huh? What they did, they took LSD, you know what is LSD? Huh? Acid. And offered to Chaitanya Mahaprabhu. Offered to Chaitanya Mahaprabhu. Sacrament. So, what to do? Then you have to leave. But the most wonderful thing about it, that Maya is so wonderful, that even today, I believe, they still offer the sacrament. Huh? So then I thought, oh no, I think I made a wrong decision here. Let me, let me go another way. So then after some time, then my authority said, okay, back to Bozo, I think it's time for you to take initiation again. I said, okay. Well, who should I? So, well, this is our representative here. I think this will be a good choice for you. Okay. <laughs> so then, again, second time, I huh? took initiation. But I thought, yeah, I've been through this before. This is just a formality. I don't really have faith here, but what to do? Huh? And what should not do this? If one is not, um, first of all, approaching huh? and developing some relationship, then not knowing that one could make a very disastrous mistake. So, what happened? But the person was a very good speaker. He could charm you like anything. But I thought, no. Then after some time, somehow I thought, oh, maybe this person is okay. And what is the proof when I think somebody's okay? My mother sent me some money, huh? And I gave him the donation. When I give anybody money, that means my heart is melting. Because I don't know anybody. <laughs> Only for <today. laughs> Then I I just I just handed over the check and the next week he ran off with his secretary or something. <laughs> and then all around me, all the factors were crying. I said, I know how you feel, it's okay. <laughs> so scriptures are I'll end very quickly. So scriptures are saying, be very careful. Be very, very careful that one should approach a bona fide guru. Because this human life, that in this human form of life, that we should achieve our goal. That goal, goal is that we should uh, be very, very strong to achieve by Krishna praying. And how to do it? By taking shelter of bona fide guru. So then I thought, oh, now I don't need guru anymore. I've gone through this, I studied the scriptures, but I could understand right? that if you want to achieve your goal, that you have to take shelter of one of my guru. That even if somebody, they're following all the principles, uh, they're doing shravan, kirtan, vishnu, smarana, pada, sevan, akhan, vada, dasan, sakyam, akhan, nivedanam, but they don't have shelter of one of my guru, uh, that they cannot achieve the goal. Never they can achieve the goal. That, that's in next life, they get Sukriti and then they can get Sadhusanga. But never achieve the goal. I thought it's okay. This is okay with me. If I can do this, I'm happy. But no more guru. Huh? Then, <laughs> then after, then I started to hear from many sadhus on the institution. And I was hearing from them, and they were speaking very, very nicely. I didn't know what they were getting it was from Guru Dev, actually, at that time. I thought this is very nice. But I thought, you know, if I can read, if I can study, I can do like this also. This is not, I'm not so impressed. Then, by very, I was very, very fortunate. By mercy of Srila Prabhupada and mercy of whatever little service I did, then I went to Sri Bhuvaneshwar, to Bhuvaneshwar. And then Bhuvaneshwar, then I heard from his divine grace, Nithilila to Vishnu and Vishnu Padi. And when I heard, then I said, oh, this is Guru. Immediately, in my heart, this is Guru. But then I thought, but look, I cannot just surrender like this. That I need some time. I went to Lord Nityananda and I prayed. That I thought, Radha Krishna, that, oh, that better 
closer is Gordy Tai. And but even for me, Lord Nityananda. Because Lord Nityananda is taking care of those who are Mahapatita, most fallen. So, oh Lord Nityananda, please you help me. Huh? Please give me sign. Because can we see Guru with this eye? With the material eye we cannot see Guru. But rather, we pray to Krishna. We cry to Krishna. And first we cry to Gaur Nithai, and most especially to Lord Nityananda. Huh? That please, you, say, you reveal to me. Huh? You show me. You open my eyes somehow. Huh? You give me mercy that I can understand. Huh? Who, is, who is that? And by mercy of Lord Nityananda, then Lord Nityananda, then he, because he is the kind of Guru Tattva, he is in charge of this Guru Tattva, then he presents, he brings Guru. Not that we see Guru, but he brings Guru. And then Lord Nityananda, then he showed me that, oh, that you should take shelter here. I said, wait, 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 I don't know, please give me another sign. <laughs> and in this way, Lord Nityananda, again and again and again, and then I just had to finally surrender. But, what happened? That time, we were here in Bhubaneswar, and here in Harikata, like we're hearing here, two hours, three hours, and our consciousness would be lifted up, that we would be just like in Goloka Vrindavan. Huh? And we're thinking, how fortunate we are, how fortunate. We would travel all over the world with our Guru, and so many people would present so many bogus arguments, and we were always happy because we knew he was going to smash all of them, and we were really sad. We have nothing to fear, huh? We were on top of the world. And just like that, we left. We would just jump. I never used four letter words. That time when you left, only four letter words were coming from my mouth. What am I going to do? What am I going to do? What am I going to do? But, Gurudev is taking care. No Gurudev physically, huh? He has left and entered into Nitya But still, from that abode, he's still taking care. And what happened? Very soon after that, one, two weeks, then we went to Sri Navadvipdam. And there, there was, right before Navadvip Parikrama, and Srila Gurudev was there with the sannyasis, and they were having their meeting before the Parikrama. And all sannyasis, they were sitting there, Srila Gurudev was there. Uh, I believe Srila um, um, Bhaktivedanta Bhavan Maharaj was there. And as soon as I just got Darshan of Srila Gurudev from afar, then just that Darshan, then I knew, oh, this is my guy. I was just here. He did not say any word, just like that. Then I knew, this is my guy. And even my godfather still go, hey, Govinda, are you okay? Are you okay? And I was just, I just had to like keep everything calm um, like, I was so impressive. Uh, I had to uphold the thing of the institution, like that. So, uh, in this way, I was thinking, how, how I'm going to be with um, Shula Naraymar. This realization, it hit me so strong that it was the most biggest realization or impression, practically speaking, I had in my life. And I knew that if I turned away from it, that I would be making the biggest lie of my life. Huh? But I had my institute for consideration. What am I going to do? What am I going to do? Huh? So then, my regional secretary, he called me up one day, he said, look, I said, you know, we should go and then Shri Gurudev made his first European tour, first to Amsterdam. And then my vice president, he's sitting over there, he, Ragnar Bhattapagur, he jumped, ship immediately and went with Shri Gurudev. He said, you can come to my temple, my president is very open hearted, he will receive you, no problem. So, so then my GPC, he called me, he said, hey, Gobi. You're not bringing the rhyme or over? No, 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 never. <laughs> then my regional secretary, I was talking to him, and then by that time, Rude was coming to England, and my whole temple were all rebels, with all the trained by Shilin Paul with Vidmar. So what was that? That, whatever, that for Sadhu Sangha, you break all barriers to go and hear from Sadhu. This was our prayer. <laughs> Everybody was going to go in here, and me stupid idiot, I was thinking I'm a temple president, I can't go in here. <laughs> so then I became very, I had a fever, I was lying down there. Then my regional secretary called, and then he, he stopped up and said, 
yeah, this nine merge is coming, what we're going to do, maybe we should go in here as members of the organization. He said, yes, you and I will be representatives, and we go. And immediately after, oh, my game is over. <laughs> so, the day before Guru Day was coming, my regional secretary called me. Huh? His name, no, sorry, Krishna Dharma. So he called me, and then he said, he said, I can't go. I said, why? My wife said that if you go, you may get caught by that Narayan Maharaj. <laughs> that he will catch you. So he said, but you, you go, and you be our representative. I said, I Only by mercy of Guru, huh? and ultimately mercy of rendering service. Guru Dev, he said, what is the quality? Because I've taken so much time. What is the qualification of a disciple? Oh. <laughs> Two minutes. Qualification of a disciple. That... So you must have initiated. 
But which bona fide guru? You have heard the quality and qualification of bona fide guru there. As you probably have heard, Tatma Guru Tapat Petro and some Tatika Nartam Guru may have been actually in this two slots. Now, if you can come in your mind, if someone is intellectual giant, very good speaker, and yes, very fast knowledge, is he qualified? A bona fide guru? Although he may act, he may roll the line bona fide guru and people may give so much respect. Is he qualified guru? Our scripture is telling the Sapta Brahmani Nishnaya, non Nishnaya Parejati, Samasta Sasama Hala, Ijadani Vibhara Chakra. Just like if you want to milk and have a cow, but cow has no cow, unless until the cow has no cow, you could not get any milk. In the same way, if someone is intellectual giant and very good speaker, he knows how to very oil, can speak very easily, can get told in a minute, he, he can make you laugh and make you cry. But he has no realization, he is not be a bona fide guru. So don't be cheated by these qualities that if you have no qualification of, you know, realize so, then you are not a bona fide guru. So must be realized so. This is his primary symptom. And other symptom, that departs from this material world and very learned scholar in all scriptures, this is secondary symptom. The primary symptom very hard to understand. I mention in scripture that Guru will test the disciple one year and disciple will test Guru one year, vice versa. What a great Guru, never seen anybody, he can understand is qualified or not. But disciple or devotee, what is about one year? Even so many lifetime, he could not understand, could not judge, is one of a guru or not. So we have to be always good association. If you be in good association, by the cosmic mercy of the stubbles, they will tell you is one of a guru or not. By their association, you can understand. Now question may arise that guru is rejectable or not. The mental is scripture. Guru specially Diksha will never be rejected. But there is one condition. Vaishnava with the seeker. If he is envious towards bona fide Vaishnava, then I will reject him immediately. No consideration. Bye bye. No <laughs> So Vaishnava Pitasi means, in mentioning scripture, Hamti Nindanti Vaidyasi Vaishnava Nabhinandati Krutthati Yakina Harsha Hanti, if someone is killing Vaishnav and without any cause, he is criticizing any bona fide Vaishnav. Hanti, in the quiet destiny, and become very envious in Vaishnav. And if you know if Vaishnav is coming, bona fide Vaishnav, you have to welcome him. If not, then also Vaishnav of Adar. Quiet destiny, Vaishnav of Adar, Nandati, Kruth Dhande, if say any bona fide Vaishnav, you have become very angry, although you are acting as a guru, but if one of your Vaishnav come, you must not be angry. <laughs> but you become very angry and that you know how so. Seeing Vaishnav, you have to realize he is my like, soulmate. We can discuss Ishtadosti, religious seminar, but if you not do so, then what of the this is the six causes to go for down. So now there is so many going falling. So many have fallen down. Why? That is a six cause, any one cause is there. So you have to be careful. Even if one of any guru is acting like this, then what to do? Then immediately have to reject him. Then how will advance in Krishna consciousness? Then it mentioned that Punascha Vidhina Sammo Grahe Vaishnava Guru. Immediately after that, according to our scripture, the Vedic scripture, you have to find one Paramahya Guru there, have to take shelter in his lotus feet and to advance in Krishna consciousness. Before in, in this uh, slope, that's Tasma Tharva Pajatrina Guru Nanadik Chita Bhave. We have to please your own effort how to be initiated by a Paramahya Guru there. He may neglect you know, I am not trying this and that. 
person I do. I fulfill my mother's last desire, but I shall give up even go there. So I think this, so I don't went there. Another example, Prabhupada Sarsat, I give conclusion about this. Srila Bhakti Siddhanta Sarsatam Kahupad, when he was teaching, his Guru Dev, Srila Bhakti Siddhanta Maharaj told to him, the place of Koi Calcutta don't go there. That Prabhupada Sarsat Kahupad, Yes, probably this first teaching center in Calcutta. Is he neglect Guru order? I give you another example. A Ramanuja Charger, when he said by Sri Lakuna, he gave one mantra to him and told his mantra is very powerful. Don't care to others. Whoever listen to listen this mantra, he will go to Vaishnava planet. Ramanuja Charger, one day he came to in the very high place and who was going for Karsan in Sri and told, please listen to me carefully. Whoever utter this mantra, they will go to Vaishnava planet. Then he very louder. Atta is his mantra and he asked the question, who is listening to this Atta is his mantra? And they did so, that Srila Puma came to and he came and told her, I told you don't do so, why things please? He told me you have to go to Hellis planet. Then Ramadhyaya said, oh Guru Dev, if I go to Hellis planet, I don't care about that. Because he told whoever listen to this mantra, they will go to heavenly planet. Uh, planet. So if I go alone, not to Hellis planet, no problem. But so many people will go to open the planet, so I did so. So in three methods we have seen, they are neglecting Guru's order. But how do we consider this? Once, we went to Mayapur long ago. One disciple of Bhukti Sathana Prabhupada, his last son of Divhara, disciple, Parampur Jabhasila Bhukti Vita Jayabhara Sai Maharaj. Then he went to Guru Dev. Then Parampur Jayabhara Maharaj told this, that Guru Rabisa Dhavitaraniya, however, Param Guru Dev, he externally looked at his neglect from a sort of, then he told, Dhavitaraniya means, according to Sanskrit grammar, he plus, or plus Vicharaniya, that is Dhavitaraniya. He means, Nishchit Rupena, means certainly, Asis Rupena, means special way, Vicharaniya, have to consider, have to judge, what this is in our mood? What do you want to say? So knowing this, if you do, then your life will be successful. Like for Prabhupada, don't want that this you know, will go away from him and be a house of life, he never won. And Parangru, uh, Siva Prabhupada, he understood the heart of Kotsata Swami Maharaj. Gopasa Siva Prabhupada has delivered the living soul from the place of Kali. This is Calcutta, so he first explained this mod. And now the other job, by attending this month, he wants so many delivered conditioned souls. So they understood their Guru's heart and they fulfill Guru's inner desire. Just like Guru was saying, he fulfilled some outer desire. If you, a so qualified disciple, can understand Guru's heart and do accordingly, then your life will be successful and it will not be the of Guru. And now, all we assemble here, one person from Sri Guru Dev wrote us late. So, I am finishing here. Which I have heard from Sri Guru Dev is all ready to go to Sri Guru Dev. Hare Krishna. Pancha, Prabhupada, Pancha, 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 Eternal, 
कितनी सारी चेहर पे इट हैज नो जस्ट देवी पराग भक्ति तथा देवी पराग भयम की क्या स्तर देर हाउस कितनी सर बट डू वी बिलीव स्ट्रॉन्ग बिलीव दैट गुरु इज साक्षात हरी अस्ट यूर हॉर्ट I think very rare one to person like this. There are so many scriptures, Bhagavad, Vedanta, Sastra, Quran, Vedic, Tantra, Charitamrita, Devi, Charaya. Everything they know. They repeat these all these laws. And why they keep up? Guru, they don't obey him. They should think. If Guru is like that, just uh, that's right. Just a daily parat bhakti. No, no, no. Just a prasada. Parvat prasada. Just a prasada. Nagati kutu. Then how a disciple can disobey his guru then? If he could then tell him, oh, you should be patta brahmachari, you should be patta sannyasi. And he knows all patta, all the scripture. Then how would he disobey? So very bhakti. Guru Nishtha, so we should very deeply oh, consider all these facts. Second thing, not only Diksha will do, Diksha Guru will do. Bande Guru, Sri Yudh Padakam, Sri Guru Nvaishnava Nishtha. No? There are some things. <coughs> That guru cannot, diksha guru cannot tell his heart openly to a disciple because he is in expert mood. We respect the guru as what thing? But siksha guru, like brother, like friend, and we can open the, our hearts. So, Siksha Guru must be <coughs> And that Siksha Guru we should in the line of our Guru, Swajati Shnik Kaharta. In what line of our Guru there is? The same line of Siksha Guru. <coughs> but we see in Chaitanya Charitamri, Mantra Guru Ar Jato Siksha Guru Gaun. Tahar Charle Ari Kore Pandam, Sri Yuk Sanatan Bhattarabhuna, Sri Yuk Gopal Bhattarabhuna. Eight five Guru Siksha Guru Jaya. He is telling that, oh, these are my Sikhs who? Siksha Guru. But then Mantra Guru. He has told first Mantra Guru, Arjoto Siksha. But why he took, does not take the name of his Mantra Guru? Who was that? Or no? He had done Guru in his householder life. And he thinks and he thought, oh, these six Gurus, Rukhsanathan and others, six Gurus, more superior, more superior, thousand and thousand times more than my mantra guru. No? It may be that anyone thinks that my Siksha Guru is Krishna, my Siksha Guru is Chaitanya Mahaprabhu, my Siksha Guru who? Then, whether he will be superior to your mantra guru or no? He will be. Siksha guru shall 
आणि रमन सुरेश आणि काही गुरुदेव फॉर गुरुदेव टू गेट यू मॅनेज टू गेट इज लाईफ ऑफ दिस इज सर्विस ऑफ गुरुदेव ए गुरु ए डिसायपल मस्ट नो ए इंटिरियर डिझायर ऑफ गुरुदेव लाईफ श्री चैतन्य मनोभीष्टम भूतले डिसायपल मस्ट नो द इंटेरियर गुड ऑफ इट गुरुदेव इफ इट एज नॉट नो दॅन इज नॉट टू बी डिसायपल हाऊ न्यू रूप वस्तू आम्ही ती इंटेरियर वॉट वी वॉट सी चैतन्य महापुरु एन यू फुलफिल एन हाऊ टू बी केम क्लिअरेस्ट एन क्लिअरेस्ट फर्कर ऑफ महापुरु नो